Good morning, my friends, and welcome to a full day of eating episode. You guys have been asking for it. Ever since the last one, you guys love that one. We're bringing it back. So today's full day of eating is gonna be a theme of how to transition from a fat loss phase. You achieve a lot of fat loss, but how do you transition and turn it into a lifestyle? I transitioned from 175 carb to, I was at 450 for the last three or four days. It's really, getting my system back to normal, de-stressing my body by giving myself some more carbohydrates. So I felt good, I'm filling out so well. So today is gonna be around 300 to 350, we'll see. Uh, like I said, 150 grams of protein, I dropped it because when your carbs are higher, carbs are muscle sparing. So what that means is if you have enough carbs, you don't have to use protein for energy. So I don't need as much protein and I've noticed that my bloating is a lot less. But I'll talk about this later on in the video and throughout, but. But before we begin our day, please give the video a thumbs up. I have a goal, if you guys, like I, I want to do these videos once a week, once every two weeks, but if I get a thousand thumbs up, thumbs ups, thumbs ups, I don't even know how to say that. If I get a thousand thumbs ups in 48 hours after this is released, I will do another one next week. That is a promise. And with all these full day of eating episodes, I provide recipes, I provide knowledge, what I'm going through at this time. So let's make it happen. All right, so right now we're gonna be filming a full recipe tutorial video on how to make protein sugar cookies and then how to change the recipe around in order to make them a little bit higher carb, lower protein to fit my new macros. That's gonna be filmed for YouTube. You guys will be able to access that full recipe whenever that goes live. But in order to make this video not extremely long, we're gonna have the rest in the description below so you guys can have it. But if you wanna see the full video version, that's gonna be going live in about two to three weeks. I'm gonna get into the recipe. So I made these cookies and I'm like, dang, like what would be pretty epic would give me a little bit more carbs, a little bit more protein and take them to the next level. Sugar cookie, ice cream, sandwiches. That's what we're gonna do, I gotta go get the ice cream. Please leave me a comment below. Also, let me know, have you tried Enlighten? What's your favorite flavor thus far? I'm gonna enjoy this because it's melting. It's so good. All right, so what I just did was I ate four of the cookies with the ice cream on them. Ended up taking the tops off of a couple of them because what I'm gonna do is add some of this on top of them. And this is what you get. Like that is gonna be good. All right, so the macros for that whole meal, so I ate all six cookies. I had, it was one and a half servings of Enlightened. That whole uh, breakdown of everything I just had was 
31 protein, 78 carb, and 14 grams of fat. And the meal had a little bit more fiber than I wanted to. It had 17 grams, but a serving and a half of Enlightened adds a good amount of fiber. So we're currently, yeah. So those are the macros so far. And then uh, for the coffee, and the almond milk, I never track it, so I'm not gonna track it. So we're about to go hit legs. No caffeine, I never take pre-workout. I just take high volume. So the only caffeine I've had today was the 120 to 150 milligrams that comes from my Nespresso, because I had a decaf after that. So um, yeah, moderate your caffeine intake. All right, so quick one little quick tip that I've been doing in between every workout to help me get about three to four thousand extra steps is in between sets. If you're not supersetting something, walk, walk for the minute thirty, two minutes that you have in between your set. It's gonna help you breathe. It's actually gonna be a better rest than if you're just staring at your phone sitting there. So it is time to eat. As you can see, we got a big salad post-workout. Like, why would you have a big salad? Well, I like to save some of my carbs for what I'd like to have after I have this big salad. It's nothing sweet to have with my mid-afternoon half-calf coffee. So I have this. I have a low-carb pizza, which I'll link below. Got a full YouTube video. It's 200 calories for the whole pizza. This is literally the salad in a nutshell. It's 200 grams of chopped up lettuce. It's 50 grams of spring mix. It's 50 grams of chopped asparagus, 100 grams of a mix between green pepper, yellow pepper, and orange pepper, 50 grams of sliced mushrooms, 50 grams of pickles sliced. We have yellow mustard, sriracha, and that's it. And so I'm gonna actually add this to the microwave for a minute 30 just to heat it up a little bit. It gives it a little bit of um, warmth to it. it tastes amazing. And that's it, we're gonna enjoy this. Ohana means family. Family means nobody gets left behind. All right, so now because I saved some carbs and a little bit of protein for a mid-afternoon snack, I love to have with my coffee. I have my half-calf coffee with the same recipe I had earlier today. And then I have two rice cakes topped with some cosmic brownie protein frosting. You can actually find this recipe in the Cosmic Brownie Protein Pop-Tart recipe. I'll link it below. It's a full YouTube video. Check that one out, but I'm about to enjoy these. Hope you guys are Remember, if you guys give me more thumbs up, I'm going to do more of these videos. I'm going to try my very best. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Love you guys. Thank you. 
from your lips he drew the hallelujah hallelujah all right so as you can see quesadillas I'm excited. Here we go. Another big salad like I had before. Same exact one. I have two of these a day. It's helped me so much. And now I know I'm going to have about, I would say 80 to 100 grams of carbs tonight before I go to bed, which is going to, which helps me so much with sleep and everything. But yeah, I'm about to enjoy this meal. I'm so excited. This is going to be so good. Oh my gosh. And remember full recipes for everything. It's gonna be in the description below. I'll see you guys later on whenever I have my final meal. All right, so I'm currently on my late night walk. I, my cardio, I haven't talked about it today. My cardio is 15,000 steps a day. And if I have not hit 15,000 steps by dinner, I'll go for a walk. So tonight I'd hit 11,000. And so just going for a nice little stroll around the domain, hitting my last 4,000 and that's it. Like one of the biggest things for me that helped so much was no longer doing the Stairmaster and just focus on 15,000 steps. Like I'm not as beat up, I could recover. And that was, uh, that helped so much. And the cool thing about doing cardio after dinner is it helps with digestion so much. So my body's ready to go for that nightcap and then that nightcap can just chill. So if you have a hard time with your digestion, I highly recommend taking a walk after dinner and uh, yeah, it'll help a ton. But yeah, excited to get back, take a shower, get ready for bed have them carbs after dark, sleep really well, and cap those macros. So appreciate you guys watching this far and uh, you guys are enjoying it. You saw the squad, I told you. We're ending the night so strong. I'm so excited. That's how I end every night. Every single night. Oh man. So beautiful. So in case you guys are wondering, we have strawberries, bananas, that s'more cereal, fruity pebbles, cinnamon toast crunch, and Reese's Puffs, all on my protein cookie butter recipe on six rice cakes. So, sorry, the only recipe you guys won't be getting today is my protein cookie butter. That's in my FDL book of recipes. I'll link it below. But nonetheless, I'm about to enjoy these. Golly, look at the s'mores one. But for a low, it's been a cool evolution transitioning from dieting to this maintenance phase where I drop protein down to 150 from around 175, 180 and then upped carbs from 175 to about 300 to 350, depending on the day. That's between 45 and 55, and I've felt amazing. So my advice would be, if you're transitioning out of a fat loss phase, give this a try. Drop protein to a little bit below one gram per pound of body weight, and see how you feel. I guarantee you're gonna feel so much better. Your body's gonna fill out. You're gonna your energy level is gonna go through the roof. And I mean, I am, I'm, I'm loving it. I feel amazing. I really do. And um, I want you guys to feel amazing too. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up. If you guys give the video a thumbs up, I'll do more full day eatings. We're trying to provide as much value as possible during these full day eatings. And that's it. That is it, my friends. Nutritional freedom, food should be fun, food should improve the quality of your life, and that's what it's all about. And so if you made it to this point in the video, I am so freaking proud, so happy, so grateful for you. Let me know in the comments below, which one would you smash? Which rice cake would you smash? Which one? Which flavor would you put on top of your protein cookie butter on top of a rice cake? Let me know. I'm gonna choose one of you and give you a free copy of the FDL Book of Recipes and this protein cookie butter recipes in there. Comment what your favorite rice cake was, then you'll be entered into winning a free copy. So as always, thank you so much for watching. God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video.